Hi guys, how are you going? In today's video, we're gonna be attempting to make a visualization for the bubble sort algorithm. I got this idea from one of this guy's videos. He made a website with sorting algorithm visualizations and pathfinder visualizations, and apparently that helped him get a job at Google, so they must be important. So what exactly am I going to do? First, I'm gonna make an array of random numbers. These will be the heights of different rectangles. Then we'll use bubble sort to put them in order from shortest to tallest. If that goes well, we'll try to sort some other things too. Alright, first things first, we need to make the rectangles. Whoa, all right, I've got the Y positions wrong. Cool, that's what I wanted. We'll just check that it works with more rectangles. Yep, 20, nice. 50, is that a space at the end or is that just a zero? Okay, there's definitely a problem here. It's late as though, I'll look at it more tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day, bright and early. Let's get this working. Yeah, we need to fix the gap at the end. I just want to double check that the width we're using is actually the right width for the window size. Twelve eighty divided by two hundred is six point four, not six. That's our problem. So I'll just typecast this as a float. Mm, why didn't that work? Oh, it's coming out as 6.0 instead of 6.4. Um, One twenty-eight works because it goes into twelve eighty. Yeah, two fifty-six works. I need to make it work as a float. So I'll just make sure that all the variables I'm using are floats. Screen width number of rectangles Ah, still didn't work Yeah, that's coming out as 6.4. It should be working. Oh god. I was still using width here Okay, great. It works. So for the bubble sort method, I think you just compare the first two elements in the array and then if the first is greater than the second, swap them, then move on to the next two elements all the way to the end, then loop through again and again until they're all in order. So first we're going to need to make a swap function that swaps the two elements. Temporary equals A, A equals B, and B equals temporary. Just quickly test if it works. Okay, cool. Can you see that? The first two rectangles are swapping. Cool, now I just need to make a loop that swaps them. If i is greater than the previous element, swap them. What did I do wrong? I'll just move this down here. 
Okay, good, it still works. Let's try it with 500 rectangles. So I've adjusted the code a little bit so that we can sort grayscale rectangles based on how much black is in them. I wonder if you'd be able to do this with RGB colors. Hi, I changed the code again. Now it should hopefully be able to sort colors. First we'll sort colors by their red values. We should see the red colors move to the left. I think it worked. Let's bump it up to 500. Whoa, cool. What's next? Green? I wonder what happens when you sort the red, green, and blue values. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Sir, please. What happens when you sort two of the color channels? We'll sort the red again, but this time with way more rectangles. We'll do one for every pixel, so 1280. So it's the end of the video and I've just realized that this isn't bubble sort. Well, the algorithm's bubble sort, but the draw loop only animates after I've iterated through the entire array once, not step by step. So I've gotten rid of the for loop in the bubble sort function. I'm doing it this way. Now it should only do one swap before it animates. Yeah, this is the real bubble sort. It's so slow! In big O notation, I think it said it was polynomial. Can't remember. I have to double check that. Next time, we'll do a visualization for a different sorting algorithm. Thanks for watching.